So I'm on this road trip with Dustin Sepp from Norco. He's the PR marketing coordinator. And Darcy Turin, team rider, sleeping in the back there in that picture, as you can see. Lots of driving. It's a long way to California from Vancouver. We ate at this restaurant called Mr. Gibbs American Grill in Redding, California. Uh, read these menu items. They're uh, pretty amusing and very appropriate considering the economic turn down that the states is experiencing and for that matter the world. No, we're laughing at your great menu. Um I get you anything besides water right away Um I'm okay with water thing. And leaving Reading in the morning we had to scrape frost off the windshield there. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to California, <laughs> Dustin. We just did a shuttle in Santa Cruz and it was amazing. And Adam from NPBR, he's nice. the website guru at the very popular NPBR site. So one of the gurus. One of them. <laughs> you can't take full responsibility. So they're showing us around. I'm Adam uh, Labarge with MTBR.com and we're here in Santa Cruz today with the Norco team, Ryan Leach, Darcy and Dustin. We're having a great time, riding some kick-ass trails. Just a nice flowy, tacky day. We've ridden an unknown trail, um, Sweetness, and now we're on Sick and Twisted. And uh, another unknown little jump spot. So anyone who's ridden here knows these trails, but. Probably the best thing about Norco is the people who work there, to be quite honest. Uh, I mean, the bikes are great, uh, they're you know, good four bars, but everyone you talk to who works at Norco is awesome. I mean, flat out, from the top head guys down to the mechanics who are going to be working on your bike uh, and the pro riders. Everyone is just super uh, friendly and happy with what they're doing. But if you meet the people who have made your bike and they turn out to be people you don't really like, I don't really feel good about riding that bike anymore. You're kind of like, it's like when you, your favorite musician and you find out that your favorite musician's really kind of an ass. And then you're like, oh wow, that heartfelt song didn't really mean so much anymore. So it's kind of the same thing. A lot of young kids, you know, if, if they want to do something to do with bikes, it would be pretty awesome to be working on a, a mountain bike website in yeah, some way. Sure. So, uh, yeah. what do you, can you say anything to uh, well, the boy. younger generation on sort of well, what uh, they should do? Yeah, um, Just... yeah nothing too specific. I mean, the, the only reason why I got this job is because I was I was the only guy who applied who knew computers and rode a bike. Everyone else applied new computers and didn't ride bikes. So uh, the the biggest benefit you could have to yourself, you know, saying, okay, what can I do now? What's the next task? Can I do that? Yes. How do I do that? What do I need to learn to do that? You know, what, you know, what, how can I be helpful instead of just saying, oh, well, all I do is this. And if you talk to me about anything else, then I'm not going to do it. That doesn't work. Yeah. No, it doesn't work. So, Maybe uh, that's life advice almost more than <laughs> Hey, no, <laughs> it's I good. <laughs> People need to hear it sometimes. Yeah. It's true. So. Yeah. Especially the, the yeah. youngins. So, um, and then and, uh, you and be careful with your emails. 